Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel, The Freezes. My name is Brian and this is my wife, Darian. We have such an awesome place to show you today. We have more boondocking lifestyle and tips to show you and you're not gonna wanna miss it. We're gonna circle the wagons. We're gonna have a great time. Because of the way we live, we are almost always leaving from one boondocking spot to the next. So before we go to this location, we need to dump our gray and black tanks and also fuel up. iOverlander is a free app that we use to help us find dump stations and water when we're out on the road. This big old hole in the ground for the sewer. Pretty nifty. And free. With gas purchase. That's right. We're just gonna top it off because I need real estate back here and I can't afford to store five, 10 gallons of gas like we used to, nor do we even need to. That way, you know, we don't have to store all the spare gas. That's the idea anyway. We're in South Central Utah right now, so we have about a four hour drive ahead of us. So you don't want to make a drive like this on full tanks, and that includes your fresh water. So we have a 51 gallon fresh water tank. A gallon of fresh water is, is a little over eight pounds, so that's going to be 425 pounds you're going to trek over four hours, over maybe questionable roads. So it's bad on the trailer and bad on gas mileage. So we're gonna pass on the fresh water at this location and we're gonna pick up our fresh water a little closer to our location. This type of rough road was one of those just where you start bouncing and you cannot stop. I had to slow down 15 miles under the speed limit. The guy in front of us was just flying up on me. Sewer hose hanging out, flying down the road. I, could, I didn't even have time to tell him to wave him down or nothing. I mean, I, didn't, I couldn't do nothing, so. But slow down, I mean, everybody makes that mistake, uh, but man, it's so important to slow down. Freestyling it. We're crossing through Blanding right now, Utah. We're on our way to recapture reservoir where there is some known BLM camping, some free camping, always on the hunt for that for you guys. This is going to be on a four and a half hour road trip blindly coming into this. You're gonna get first look and we're gonna find a spot together. So we'll see. Is it a yay or nay? Oh yeah, we've been through worse, I think. So. Can't be any worse than Spread Creek, huh? Um, no way. All right, go. <clears throat> we're doing it.
Okay guys, we just uh, came on this great spot. We're totally searching for a party spot, okay? We need to circle the wagons. We got, uh, you know, Dad and Kay coming uh, right behind us probably in about 24 hours. And then we have uh, her parents, Matt and Tina, uh, coming to visit us for the entire week. Doesn't this spot look really cool, guys, for them to come see us at? We think so. Price of admission here, zero dollars, no camping fees. So we got this nice fire pit here, right here to circle the wagons. I think this is gonna be what we try to claim as ours. If it doesn't work out, you know, we have Valley of the Gods, which is about an hour south of here. Let me turn the camera around and give you a quick look. We're thinking dad right here backs up because of the solar is perfect. We're gonna pull right around here, drop the nose right in that shadow gonna be perfect sun for us too and i think it'll also you know center the firing here this looks like a really really awesome spot that could potentially work so we're gonna try and post up put our elbows out wide i didn't hit her guys she's fine and Fingers crossed it works because it's a gorgeous spot it, it is looks very popular try and see if we can seem big enough to maintain this spot before we have our company Look at the spot we got. Oh my goodness. She's getting out the Level Mate Pro. Looking good. Sometimes you gotta get creative. Okay guys, let me break in here real quick. This is a perfect example of why you need more than one RV leveling system. Now, 90% of the time we're on the Karmatex, okay? Because we're usually on a surface that needs less than four inches of, uh, of leveling, okay? But in this situation where we're over three and a half inches, then the blocks come into play and you can start building your pyramids. And in this situation, if we didn't have the blocks, we would not be level. Keep coming. Just tad bit more. Stop. Yep. And always make sure you're chalked up before you unhook the trailer. So guys, it looks like sometimes winging it does pay off we sure do like it out here sometimes it doesn't we are thrilled with this spot when uh, we first got here though we were a little iffy we're like uh-oh it looks really small and it looks really crowded <laughs> yeah we just had a tiny little pothole to drive through but it looks like it's keeping most people out of here um and a little squishy close to the lake but we think it's gonna turn out good if we can you know secure these other spots get my dad out here if we get muscled out of here we still got the uh, valley of the gods which is an hour south of here um, and looks amazing really does we might go there after this or or we might leave here Halfway and go the there. Visit, you never know. We don't, so. We've been known to do that before. Yeah, once or twice. This is an amazing spot on a Wednesday evening. We're grabbing this right before Memorial Day weekend. Pretty good. as you want but uh, yeah it doesn't always uh, get you there yeah we're really excited to have both of our parents here and uh, we're going to circle the wagons right down here at recapture reservoir and we're going to have a great time
this is the first fish this lake is gonna give us off the bottom. Oh, it is. It is a little bullhead. <laughs> hey, look at that. Me too, he didn't even swallow the hook. Show me your big fish. <laughs> Two seconds. Sergi's off to go get Brian. too busy as you can clearly see that it is here this weekend you can take a break and head down south to a highly recommended drive the valley of the gods of the gods is a 17 mile loop on hard gravel surface over some washes and several sharp tight turns depending on how long you want to gaze at these towering pinnacles and buttes that are just amazing it might take you about one to two hours to complete definitely one to two and once you're done there you might as well head 20 miles south to the world famous highway 163 or better known as the forest gump highway Cliche or not, once you're there, you have to get that picture. You just have to do it. All right guys, that's it for Recapture Dam and we really hope that you got something out of this video and that you got a chance to circle those wagons with your loved ones this year. We have a lot more coming your way, so make sure you're subscribed by clicking on the icon in the bottom right of your screen. It's right there guys and giving a thumbs up helps us out a lot. If you got something out of this video, make sure you do that. And Darren and I want to thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.